What's up everybody? In today's video, we're gonna walk you through a property that we have that we paid a really cheap price on that we're going to get fixed up. This will be our third contractor in this job and I'm gonna walk you through what happened and why. So first of all, we've got a police escort over here. Uh, this guy over here, is, uh, he's looking out for us. Actually, he's looking out for the uh, fire gas. That's one of the great things when you got government contracts, you get police escorts. So in this property, we actually had a guy named Clyde who did some work for us and he just didn't finish the job and then Ross found a guy and he didn't show up for the job. And uh, so now we have a guy, uh, Francisco, who's been doing a great job for us. We were gonna have Mario do it. Super Mario, uh, I, I don't know, maybe he had too many mushrooms. So, you know, in terms of the uh, deal there. So we're gonna walk through this property, kind of show you what needs to happen here. So obviously we have some fascia issues that need to happen here. We ripped this part down. That's already been done. We need four point lighting. That's something that we're always gonna do. It looks like we've got a possible security problem in here, security breach. So we need to re-secure this property. They're not gonna get anything out of here anyways. Backyard's been cleaned out. Looks like that part's been done. First thing you wanna do is get electrical and you wanna get water on if you're doing a flip. So four point lighting, we're gonna need lighting in the back here, lighting on that corner, lighting on the top probably aim this direction. So if you get your lighting and aim it that direction and get your lighting and aim it that direction is a good way. That'll hit four points of it. Then we'd wanna hit another light down here. This will help the tenants feel safe. So the first thing is to secure this property. One of the other things we might wanna do here is, and this is just like one of the other things we may wanna do after we're 100% done is deal with the neighbor issue. And that might be a code enforcement issue. It's gonna be hard to rent out when you got your guy with flat tires and all of his garbage everywhere. But we'll deal with that once we're done with our property 100%. Looks like he's a collector. Oh, I got a question for you. Are you investing in real estate? If you're not, you should be. We got a free Facebook group, Millionaire Mentorship Real Estate Investing. But I wanted to ask you, like, these are security doors. There's a big time problem with these security doors. They made them so they're not really secure, right? What we need to be doing is having our guys put a plate on this. Like if we can have Francisco, because all these guys do is they push this piece out here. And you can almost feel it flex when I push on it. They push out, they reach their hand in, and then next thing you know, they're in the house, right? And so it's really not a good security door. I'm, I'm pretty confident that they did this on purpose because companies will build stuff inferiorly just so you'll have to replace it, right? So all somebody does is they come in, they punch this out or they stick their keys in there or they grab a stick, a rock, whatever, and they reach in and then they can get inside the house, right? So that's not very, it's not a very secure door, right? So let me know what you think, comment below. Now we're gonna walk in. We're gonna save these cabinets. You might think, Troy, why would you save these cabinets? Well, why would I replace them, you know? We just put a new countertop on top of them. Looks like they've already started to sand these. You know, I always say the bigger the showboater, the bigger the uh, talker. Like this guy came in here, is talking about like, man, I watch you on Instagram, I watch you on Facebook, I watch you on YouTube, I'm gonna freaking blow your doors off and then just never showed up. We've had a couple bids on this job, but it's sitting empty on this particular property. We're just looking to get this thing cleaned up, rent ready, and this will become a rental. We got good hardwood in here. We got our wires. Did we lose any wires? We still have them all. So it looks like all of our wires are still here. We got our plumbing supplies are still here. So we just need someone to finish the job. We need some more insulation in here. That's gonna need to happen. Skylight? We do have a skylight up there. It's nice. Mm -hmm. And if I was in a nicer neighborhood, you could vault the ceilings in this thing. This is just a two one. What's behind here? Let's find out real quick. Whenever you're looking at a house, that's the closet. So we'll keep that the way it is. Walk in here. This is just gonna be standard rehab. Put this thing back together. Take this part out, tile this in here. Fix all these doors so they open. We'll do our section eight checklist. We'll put a single vanity in here, Home Depot special, about 65, 80 bucks with the vanity it comes with. Tell him to uh, secure all the windows in here so that they can lock. And one thing I always tell these guys to do is, you know, when you're coming through these houses and you're walking them, just double check it and make sure everything's locked. Not that we have too much to steal in here, but somebody could cause a lot of damage. People out here who are living in the streets, they could uh, decide that they wanna keep warm. And next thing you know, we've got a house up in flames because they couldn't let the fire out when they were shooting up. You're like, well, Troy, you probably made it okay on the insurance. Why well, don't get insurance on my properties? And I'll tell you why. When you add up the cost, and this is a good question, like comment below, why do I not get insurance? If you're not subscribed right now, make sure you hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the notification button, make sure you get started investing in real estate. But if you wanna know why I don't get insurance, just comment below, why do you think I don't get insurance on these properties? 
what's my what's my largest liability like this property we might be in this for twenty thousand dollars acquisition maybe forty thousand dollars for the rehab so let's say we're all in it for sixty thousand dollars insurance costs might be a thousand to twelve thirteen fourteen hundred dollars a, a year okay like all right well why wouldn't you insure that asset troy let's say i needed to insure that asset well my largest liability is actually going to be when the tenant moves in it's going to be if they hurt themselves it's going to be if they burn down the property right so what we're going to require is we're going to call renter's insurance right that renter's insurance is going to cover us for the tenant's negligence and our liability insurance is like 1 20th of the cost of regular insurance and so that's gonna cover us from any liability. Like if they fall, they hurt themselves, we're covered. And that's why that's why I don't get regular insurance in these types of areas. It just doesn't make sense. We got our washer and dryer. I don't know if that was the best location for it. Maybe we should have put it in the basement, but we're gonna find out why we didn't. We need a handrail here, Ross. I think it should have been put in the basement, but let's see if we can get this thing working. Be nice if this furnace still worked here. So the other thing that we're gonna do down here is we're gonna paint these all white. We're gonna close this off okay these are all going to be painted white white and bright this is all going to be painted black okay white and bright we're going to secure it looks dry that's good the only thing i would say is that we probably need to relocate the washer and dryer down here it's just because they're going to have to get a stackable unit in that little closet that's not going to make sense it's going to end up costing us money now do you think we can save this furnace comment below yes no i don't know it'd be nice here's another thing we need to blockade this thing. This needs to be bricked off. We don't need to be dealing with any of this. So we just need to take the brick, fill it in here. Looks like we got most of our electrical done in here. Most of our water lines run in here. This is a new water heater. Surprised it's lasted here with it just sitting open to the elements. We're gonna cage this. We're gonna cage the condenser once we put that outside. And we don't need to put a condenser in the winter time. We will actually save that until we're occupied in the summertime and they call and say it's hot. Rail, rail, this gets relocated. We can just get rid of that and that's pretty much it. Question, how much do you think this property is gonna cost to rehab? And this would be a good question because our contractor's not here yet. So is it gonna be $5,000 for labor? It's gonna be $10,000 for labor? We got a good roof right now. Is it gonna be $15,000 for labor? $20,000 for labor? $25,000 for labor? What do you think it's gonna cost? Comment below how much you think that's gonna cost. My guesstimate is that we're north, we're south of 15 to get this hell house done. South of $15,000 is where we really need to be. What, what did Mario's bid was last time? 13? Okay, well let's try for 13 on this one. See what we can do. We're not in a rush on here. We need to get some gutters. Not a terrible amount of work. He could knock out the basement pretty quick. And this is why we would maybe want to call code enforcement over here. We've got this vehicle just sitting here. It ain't going anywhere. We've got a tow truck from uh, Battlestar Galactica in the background over there. And uh, we got an asset that should be producing us money. So we're just really just cleaning some stuff up. When you buy 100 homes in 18 months, you're going to drag on your rehabs. And so we're just basically kind of putting everything back together, getting everything back on the market. So what do you think uh, finish this would work for based on the area? I think seven to $800 based on the area. Nice thing is you got is you got a nice quiet lot right here so you got nobody next door decent yard back there this is your biggest negative is right there so question to you guys would you call code enforcement on these guys and all they're really gonna do is say you gotta pick up your stuff and maybe he just needs a little swift kick in the butt i mean i know we get code enforcement calling us all the time is this our dude oh he's rolling up here comes francisco look at this big old truck he's got he's got all his equipment on here got a step ladder to get in it right yeah 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 that's a big old truck man eight miles a gallon <laughs> 11 11 <laughs> that looks good how you doing francisco good sorry i was picking up you're good did you just add this to this no i i did this myself okay cool how much was this one 14.5 yeah that's a nice one got the wireless remote oh wireless nice you can d dump as you go mm -hmm. as you drive mm -hmm. <laughs> So we kind of got an idea of what needs to happen here. So basically, um, some light roof work. Hey, what do you think this guy does here for a living? You think like he's in the political campaign? Is he campaigning toward to city council? Makes good sense. <laughs> so we've got this to replace right here. We need downspouts. On this one, let's go all electrical if we can, like eliminate any sort of gas we don't need. That's another thing is if you can eliminate gas, especially on small houses, you're gonna just eliminate one issue. That furnace looks like it's probably really toast anyways. If we do have a gas water heater in there. Uh -huh. No, not the windows, but maybe just these or redo the screens. Oh, just get rid of the screens okay. or redo the screens. I mean, you got this. Well, this is fine. CJ will have big problems with that. Get rid of the screens. We can redo this. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, just redo those screens. 
paint it black or something. Yep, just paint it black. I think there's a gas water in here, so we might save that for another one, but I'd rather just eat that cost, move that to the next property, and make sure that we got the wire. I would just tell you, go hardwoods all the way throughout, same thing as you did on the other one. This needs to be relocated downstairs because we're not gonna put a stackable in here that was, you know what needs to happen to this whole house, just the same way as anything. Just simple flush mount lights. Square? I don't care, just leave it the way it is. There's no point in doing anything like that. It's not gonna make us any more money. Okay. Make it a little more open. <laughs> yeah, but it's a rental. Okay, fine. Yeah, I mean, we're not going all the way on this house, so there's no point. We need some more insulation in here, right? <laughs> Look at the cat. Oh, oh <laughs> my daughter's gift. Oh, there you oh yeah? For Father's Day? Uh, no, for my birthday. When was your birthday? Uh, November 28th. Nice. How old were you turning? 29. 29. Probably replace that. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty solid. Yeah, probably just need to cut it out a little bit. We're gonna put some new. Okay. Yeah. So replace the subfloor. Tub looks like it's okay shape. Just looks dirty. Looks like they actually replaced it, or it's not too old. We can clean it up and see if it's not dented this, or anything. This pull it out tile. Couple can lights in here. Shower niche in the middle. Couple can lights. If it's just much as energy to put a can light as it is to put a boob light, just put a can light. Okay. Same here. Okay. I mean, they got like a 12 or 13 inch light, so they yeah. pretty good. Yep. The doors, you can keep them the same thing. We don't need to replace doors here. This is a rental. Sand the floors down, fix this stuff. Fix these cabinets if you can. I think you can probably. Paint these like a darker gray. Yeah, because the Home Depot cabinets aren't even gonna be as strong as these. Mm -hmm. Just the front ends. Solid, but the rest it's all gonna I mean? <laughs> yeah it's just gonna <laughs> melt wood, so these are pretty good yeah all right so going downstairs put a handrail here handrail down here on on this side a couple lights down here i'd put the washer and dryer wherever you can it doesn't really matter but it seems like it would go right there bring this wall all the way here yeah they don't say anything that's open yeah. And then put the handrail through and then you're good. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. Looks like that's gas, so I don't know if that thing's gonna work, but we'll have Shane come take a look at it because he's rebuilding them right now. And then that's, we'll just repurpose that into a different unit. Secure these, eliminate them. The door back there, eliminate it. Eliminate all those. We don't need to egress through a basement, right? No. <laughs> yep. So paint these all black, all walls white. And that's it. The floor. Floor can be the floor. Stairs, porch paint gray. Handrail here. We'll walk the exterior. So you know we're doing four point lighting. It doesn't have to be solar light. I prefer it to be hardwired, but whatever's easiest. Yeah, I mean on this one actually you can get away with probably just putting it on the peak. Aim one off this edge, then off the front, and then one on the side. So four point lighting, bing, bang, boom. And then uh, I just figured we block this in. Is that gonna trap a bunch of water for us and cause us a problem though? Put some gravel down there and put like a drain. Where are we gonna drain it to? At least try to make it go out back this way. If it's filling up with water, it's just gonna go in the basement a little bit, right? I mean, it's gonna be sealed on the inside anyway. So yeah, so. I just think that uh, somebody could fall and get hurt. Frame like a little cover roof or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just something simple. That way it's not supposed like that. What kind of board do you recommend to do though? You can do green board here. And what about cement board? What's gonna be the most durable? The cement floor. Yeah, I just think the biggest thing is somebody's gonna fall and hurt themselves. We don't want that. And uh, I mean, you could even put freaking a chain link fence on the top of it might, might be the way to go, right? Because that's not gonna rot. And then nobody's gonna fall down there except for like crap. So that's it, man. What color? Just paint it the same color. Just do a uh, color match. They've done some of the work here. You could do this one after, we have another price from somebody else on it. So, uh, but uh, you can do this one after Manchester. You guys gonna be ready to start Manchester by the 15th? Mm -hmm. How are you doing on ninth? Well, I'm gonna go pick up the floor here in a little bit. Then you're done? Mm -hmm. All right, so comment below. How much do you think his bid's gonna come in at? Mine for this one? Yeah. Uh, like 15 or something. That's what we were saying, right below I mean, 15. Exactly it's not, it's not, it's not. Yeah, that's exactly what we said. I said it should be below 15, somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll get a scope of work typed up for you and then uh, we'll have, this one can start after Manchester. So then you know you got your next one. Do me a favor in the meantime, let's re-secure this shit so that nobody's coming in here and then we'll get to the next one. Hey dude, uh, another thing to ask you, Francisco. Yeah. You have a welder? welder? I used to broke down. So if we can get a plate when you're doing these doors and just weld it right here. Oh, okay. Do you know why? 
just so they don't, whenever they try to break in, they don't break that. Because they break the mesh, I've seen it before. Every time. Uh -huh. What do you think our biggest problem over at this property is? Maybe. Right, <laughs> right. So the minute we're done with that, we call code enforcement mm -hmm. and get that handled. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe. Check it in the next one. Peace.